So, hello. This is Zombie Madness. This is a game that was made by an XTDS admin, I'm pretty sure, and I'm going to be trying it today. So right here I can see I have zero tokens, and I assume that's the currency that the game is based off of. So I just clicked on the shop, and I guess I get to see all of these things here. Uh, these are most likely just towers that are so far in the game, and there are probably going to be more added in the future too. Uh, as of right now, the citizen is the only one I have, so I guess I have to equip it. I don't really have any other choice. And see, we have a leaderboard here that has token survivals and then a uh, challenge. I'm not really sure what this is, but I guess I can find that out in the future. I'm going to click play, and I see survival, and uh, I guess this is kind of what I expected. We have a solo, co-op, tri-op, and a quad. Uh, I think for this, I, I don't even know what the best thing is. I think I might as well just join a quad game, because I feel like people are going to carry me. So yeah, I'm going to wait for the game to fill up. Okay, there you go. The game is going to start now, and hopefully I'll get to see what this game has to offer. I have no idea what any of these maps are. So I'm probably just going to vote with whatever these guys want me to vote. I'm just going to ask. Well, I, I guess Snowy's the one with the vote, so that's what I'm going to go for. Okay. I have a citizen, and judging by his small range, I think he has to go in a corner. He seems like a melee tower. So I am going to place them like this. And I can see that I can upgrade them. I don't know if these are the current stats or the stats after the upgrade. Now, looking at these enemies, encrypteds, uh, I think they're actually, I think they're, I think they're really cool looking enemies actually. And then we have these uh, faster ones. I don't know what they're called. I'm gonna keep getting towers. Okay, I think, I think it's better to get them in the corner. I'm not sure. It's just kind of utilizing their range more and I actually like the fact that you get to see like what the tower is uh, although this isn't any like groundbreaking feature like oh only this game has it it's just it's just pretty nice that this game has a feature like this judging by the enemies this is like based off of um or this is more inspired by like computer related things in a way and my friend here is telling me that you get 50 tokens if you get past wave 10 uh, I don't know how hard it is to get tokens in this game. For all I know, 50 tokens could be, like, very worth it. Oh, well what he's telling me right now is making me believe that grinding tokens is not the most efficient by getting to the final wave. Although I don't know what the final wave is, might as well ask that. Oh my god, the DPS actually increases really rapidly on level 3. It becomes 6 from 2. So yeah, this is actually really worth the price. And there are these, uh, these tough somethings. I, I, I couldn't tell what, what, what it said, but I could make out the word tough. So I assume it's like a shield for the enemies. Upgrading is a lot more worth it than I originally thought. Because the DPS just increases so massively. I guess I'm going to upgrade, although I'm not sure at this point if it's like better to upgrade at a certain point or just to stop upgrading at, at some point. It's actually pretty cool the way it tells you like what wave you're on, the text. It's not like anything super unique, but I guess it is different than other tower defense games. It's just something that I uh, appreciate looking at. Alright, I maxed out my citizen, and yeah, a DPS of 18. Now that's pretty good. Although, again, I mean, by meaning pretty good, I, I, this is my first time playing the game. I can't say it's like something you have to use. I can't really be giving any advice on this game, seeing as I'm new to it. But judging by the amount of damage this guy's doing, I mean, uh, for a tower that you get when starting the game, I think it is, um, I think it's actually pretty useful. And we've officially passed wave 10, so at this point, uh, we don't get more than 50 tokens. So maybe it's just worth it to die right now. But I don't know, maybe if you get to the last wave, you get a bunch of extra tokens. I guess it's worth trying. You get to see more waves, more enemies. An overclocked safe guard. I guess by meaning overclocked, it's like 
its health is boosted. And what I notice is that I don't get money from other people's attacks, meaning it's like tower battles where you have to do the damage if you want to make the money. And I think we should be able to finish off this safeguard. I don't know the range of these guys. Oh, it is pretty big though. Yeah, I, I don't know how much longer we can survive. These things are starting to get far. And we have a malware. So, this looks like, uh, this looks like it might be a problem. I'm probably gonna go into another game just to get more of an experience. I can see I have 50 tokens now, but uh, this is nothing that will be able to help, I guess. So I don't know what's actually like the most worth it thing to save up for, especially since I'm not like good at the game. Would it be like just to just save up for like a crisp or a miner or just go straight up for a shocker? Uh, even though this probably doesn't look like it's a good idea as there are only seven towers in the game and going for the best one and then not having anything else is uh, probably not really going to work out. I'm gonna join another quad game. Looks like I got pretty lucky. It wasn't full. Or it wasn't empty either. Hopefully this time I can actually get carried. Because there's no chance I'm winning all by myself. Hmm. Crossroads looks a bit um, familiar, if you know what I mean. But seeing as everybody is voting for Woods, I guess that's what I'm voting for as well. They wouldn't be voting for it if it was bad, right? And I guess I'm going to do the thing that I can do best, which is just work on my, on citizens. And these miners, um, I'm about to see how they work. Do they give money every wave, like farms do in Tower Defense Simulator, or do they give money, like, throughout the wave? Yeah, they seem to be giving money every wave like they do in, uh, in, like, Tower Battles and Tower Defense Simulator. Ooh, and now the can is doing splash. Yeah, that does make sense. I guess if it was like right away, it would be slightly OP. So yeah, tough encrypted. Yeah, they get stronger throughout the game. That is an interesting mechanic. Usually it's just usually it's just harder enemies that come out throughout the game. But here it's the enemies that get harder throughout the game. I hope that makes some sense. So yeah, I'm probably going to be getting, like, level 4, I think. Yeah, I'm probably going to be getting more level 4 citizens in the front, just to make me some money. So then, like, throughout the game, I could get more around, like, the corners. Like I said, to better utilize their range. Yep, the malware. Here this thing is. This is what killed us last time. Hopefully, we'll do better this time against it. And this map looks... Definitely longer than the last one, so I think this is going to be easier. Oh yeah, these things have a lot of range. I think we're I think we're definitely fine. This malware looks very cool. I really like the green color scheme, the green and black color scheme. And we have killed him. So hopefully we don't have to worry about him anymore. Because you know, now that we killed that one, the next one that comes out should be easier, right? And... Are we dead? Yep. GG. Now, this game being only in pre-alpha is... Actually already kind of impressive. This game has a lot of potential and I'll be waiting for more future updates. If you have any tips about the game, like what towers I should work for, I guess, you should probably comment them down below. And if you enjoy more, like, non-tower defense simulator content, I guess, you might as well like. Either way, thank you for watching. See you soon.